Just days after a lone gunman pulled off France's biggest ever diamond heist, that country was hit by yet another robbery today, this time at a luxury watch store. It's the latest in a rash of daring heists, and it could be life imitating Hollywood, as Stuart Greer explains. 500 cases. 300 million U.S. dollars. Just a lot of money. A rare glimpse into the shadowy world of the most notorious jewel robbery rings ever, the so-called Pink Panther Gang. In the documentary Smash and Grab, former thieves explain how they meticulously planned and pulled off their audacious heists. You get the saves that are mechanical, numerical, and you get the digital ones. I can crack them all. The movie's release coincidentally coincides with yet another daring daylight robbery in the French Riviera town of Cannes. Two armed thieves today escaped with 40 luxury watches from an upscale store, some worth up to $800,000. This comes just days after a lone robber carried out one of Europe's biggest ever heists, $136 million worth of diamond encrusted necklaces and earrings were snatched from an exhibit at the Carlton Hotel. If that sounds like something out of a glamorous Hollywood thriller, it is. The Carlton was the setting for Alfred Hitchcock's To Catch a Thief, where cat burglar Cary Grant is seduced by Grace Kelly. Diamonds. The only thing in the world you can't resist. It's not known if the Pink Panthers were behind the robberies, but there are suspicions, especially after several gang members recently escaped from a Swiss prison. You know, I'm not talking about somebody knocking on the head of, of an old lady to, to pinch her purse. There they are very often organized gangs. They plan it like a military operation. It's a film scenario. So, of course, it happens in Cannes. Cannes, of course, is host to its famous annual film fest, where celebrities and the filthy rich flaunt their wealth, an ideal target for thieves who this year ripped a safe out of a hotel room, making off with millions of dollars in jewels meant for Hollywood stars. And they snatched the this necklace worth $2.6 million. This is somebody who's been, knows exactly what he's doing and he knows exactly where the, uh, the goods are going to go to. A hallmark of the Pink Panther gang. I became the scout. I recorded where everything is. And a possible clue to who may be behind this year's rash of Riviera robberies. Stuart Greer, Global News, London.